with your your the new interviews that you've been doing recently, that's uh, slightly different from the documentary stuff yeah. that you've done before. What what sort of brought you to do do these interviews? Uh, well, I'd been doing interviews for a podcast in lockdown yeah because i couldn't travel i had to cancel all my plans and that was it came out as grounded on bbc sounds and then i yeah. thought well maybe i should you know i've got kids maybe i should be traveling a bit less so even after lockdown i thought well maybe we could do something a bit similar to that on tv yeah just sort of not having to spend three weeks on location away from the family but spending a few days often around the UK, just getting to know someone who I find interesting. And then we did Young Blood, and then after Bear Grylls, it's Catherine Ryan, the comedian, and yeah. then Rita Ora. And what, what I really admired was one thing you did where you were uh, doing, pushing up the weights. I was lifting weights yeah. with, with Bear Grylls. Yeah. And that's a good example of, I'm not really, it's not really an interview technique. I just saw the weights. I thought that would be fun to see if I can lift it up. Yeah. And then it turned out I could just about get it to here. And then I couldn't get it over my yeah. head. And then Bear came over and helped me. But in a weird way, it felt like oddly revealing of, of Bear. You could see like him just sort of eyeing me from behind and figuring out whether he should help and when he should help. And also it's just fun. It's a bit maybe like you and trains like you just follow what goes on and you just observe and everything that's preoccupying or worrying you floats away yeah and you're just involved in you're just immersed in the experience of being somewhere and seeing what's happening and i think that's why they're so watchable mm. because it's just in the zone yeah did you hear that train yeah that's a class 378 where do you think it's going uh that's london overground is it so can i ask you something yeah so you, you, you're known as Francis, yeah. but the crew's been calling you Luke. Yeah. And if I looked you up, and your given name is Luke. Yeah. So what's that all about? So through my experience at school, I knew that a train, the perception of train spotting at the time wasn't that it, that it was cool. Yeah. And I'd never showed my friends that side of me. So in using a pseudonym. You're a secret train spotter. <laughs> Well, when I was younger, 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 not really, but when I went through school, not, I was, it was a deeper part of my identity. Um, so actually, in using a pseudonym, Francis Bourgeois, I, I, just, I, had, I was able to, to feel a bit more protected, and that's why I just had the, I just let it go, like, like, let, let these videos go. And so then, which one should I call you? Well, I think, uh, as, as people watching the video know me as Francis, probably Francis. Yeah. But when people um, say, oh, isn't your name Luke? It has, it has sort of, uh, people online have see, seen that my name's actually Luke and sort of thought that I'm sort of co constructing this whole character who loves trains. But I've, you know, I've just loved trains all my life and I'm making train videos. Francis Bourgeois is a bit, <laughs> has a bit more of a ring to it than uh, Luke Nicholson. <laughs> Luke Nicholson <laughs> has a ring as well. 